All right, I'm back. Uh, so we're going to jump into some demos. And the first one, hello, Dinkum Variety Streamer. Wait, how's it going? Uh, the first one we're going to do is one that I wanted to get to on Tuesday, but we didn't have time, is Potionomics, which I'm very... I am, I am excited for this one. Uh, very excited for this one. If it would appear on... Oh, no! It has completely ruined the displays on... There we go. Now I can't see. I can see again. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. Do I like potion games? I might. I might. I might have a soft spot for potion games. If you have not seen this one, it looks incredible. <laughs> Listen. I, I'm very excited, so. I, I, I really wanted to get to this one on Tuesday. We just ran out of time. I just was not feeling well. Uh, my dearest Sylvia. Greetings from Rafter. It is here on this charming island that I'll build my potion shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. I hope that one day you'll be able to see it. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven the Witch Queen, Witch Queen fell in battle. Her unsanctioned experiments made this land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? Love to your mother. Tell your father he still owes me money. Your uncle, Oswald. Dearest niece, thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in transit, unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. Anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think that you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. After mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck, although what could go wrong? Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Sylvia, if you're reading this, it means I'm dead, which isn't great. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia, don't let this be the end of my shop, my dream. Come to Rafta, accept your inheritance, and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. Dearly departed, Oswald. Sylvia, please accept our firm's condolences on the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. Per the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of his property on the island of Rafta. However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person or else will be deemed forfeit. We hope this inheritance offers some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it is certain to be an impressive piece of property. By the way, you owe us a million dollars. Impressive. Yes. Quite. What do you call a magical owl? A Houdini. Uh, this is my inheritance? It would have been better off living in my parents' basement. It's bad enough the shop is in disrepair. But did I have to be saddled with Oswald's unpaid debts, too? Look at these animations. Very Disney-esque, right? I thought this was going to be my lucky break. Instead, I'm stuck cleaning up his messes. Let's not speak ill of the dead now. Your uncle, I'm sure he did a lot of things differently, but he was a fine man and he only wanted the best for you. Easy for you to say. He probably gave you all the mice you could eat. Preposterous. I wasn't some lowly pet. I was... Well, I was his business partner, the brains of the whole operation. The operation that's currently insolvent, is that the operation you mean? There were unforeseen challenges. But now you're here, and between us, we have everything we need to turn this place around. I guess I do know my way around a cauldron. And I'll have the business acumen you'll need if you're going to make your potions profitable. The sun's coming up. We should get started. You know what they say, the early bird catches the operating profit. About six and a half books. God. That's... That's a terrible joke, Magna. <laughs> Next fest. Thank you for taking the time to try Potionomics. Have fun. It releases on the 17th. Oh, I thought it was released in November. 
So this release is soon. Ah, beautiful morning. Now the real work can begin. First things first, we need to craft some potions. Let's head over to the cauldron and get brewing. Bow, bow. Brew. Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with those for now. We're in luck. These ingredients are just what we need to craft some mana potions. Oh, do tell. Haven't learned the basics yet. Every magical ingredient contains... Magamin. Mag... Magamins. Magamins. Yes. The arcane essence needed to create viable potions. It's the specific combination of magamins that will determine what kind of potion you'll create. To make a manin potion, you need roughly equal quantity of green and yellow magamins. Let me put these ingredients in the cauldron and we can check the ratios before we commit to the brew. Uh... A sack of slime. Nice. And mandrake root. Total magamins, six. Drag and drop. Okay. A minor health potion. Fortifies your hero's health by five. Balance of magnumins, two unstable, can't brew. Minor mana potion. Fortifies your hero's mana. Balance of Magnumins is perfect. Potion gains two additional stars on completion with the chance of gaining a bonus star. Okay, so we're so we're at six and six. So, oh, interesting. Okay. So, start creation process? I can't. I have to pay? Why is that... Grayed out. Do I have to add more ingredients? So minor mana potion. Current magnum amount and different magnum amounts required to increase the value of the potions. So I'm at one star. What is this? The current and maximum number of ingredients held by the cauldron. Current maximum amount units of fuel. I have no fuel. Current maximum amount of magnets held in this cauldron is 150. Okay. I'm guessing we'll be able to get better cauldrons then at some point. The balance is poor. The balance is perfect. The ratio is perfect. This will make three minor mana potions of high quality. Oh, three. Got it. Boom. Looking good. Now we just need to give the cauldron some time to do its thing. I know just what to do while we wait. Brewing. Just make cold potions? Yeah. Your potions will be ready in the afternoon. In the meantime, I'll have... I have some old ones in our inventory. Let's go ahead and arrange them on the shelves. I have minor health potions. Okay. Arrange potions. Makeshift shelf. Okay. These old health, health potions won't set the world on fire, but if nothing else, selling them will be good practice for you. Put them on a shelf now. Once it's done, they'll be available for sale when we open the shop. Boom. Now when customers come in, they'll see what you have available for purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which you put the potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming, but we can invest in some better ones later. Ah. Odd Bear, how's it going? Welcome in. Okay, cauldron is bubbling, potions are shelved. What's next? Could the answer be breakfast? We open the store, let's sell some potions. Open shop. Costs two time slots. Interesting. Okay. Hoot hoot. Love you. Have fun. My first shift. I hope I'm ready for this. You are. You must be. Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. Haggling. 
Haggling is the art of negotiating uh, with the customer in order to get the highest possible sum for your potion. The in interest is the key to raising the price of a potion. As you increase a customer's interest, you will also increase the perceived value of the potion. But keep a close watch on your customer's patience. If their patience reaches zero, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster. Of course, customers have strategies of their own. Among other tactics, they'll try to inflict stress upon you. The more stressed you are, the more problems you'll have. Got all that? Just remember, raise their interest without burning through all their patience. Here comes one now. You've got this. A peppy commoner. Good to see you. I mean it. This looks pretty great if the price is right. Oh, is this a card game? Shut up. Look at... Uh... This is gorgeous. Opener. This card has an ability which will activate only if it's played in your... Uh, played first from your hand. You can activate an opener. Set him up. Increases interest applied by reel them in by 20%. Okay. Raise interest by 7. Gain 2 shield. <laughs> Blocks a set amount of interest equal to the current value. Shield is <laughs> removed when brought down to 0. Okay, this is great. Minus one patience plus four interest. Customer is going to increase Sylvia's stress. She's going to complain for two. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Her patience is at nine. If it hits zero, the customer will leave without buying the potion. So she's kind of interested right now. Let's reel them in. So that's minus two patients plus eight. Now moderately interested, which is a 10% increase in value. Brace yourself for two. And then end turn. So she's going to hit us for two, but we have two shields. So the turn also takes one patient. This is... Awesome. Uh, good thing I was ready for that. Otherwise, I can finish up the deal now. Let's close it out. Close it out. Raise interest by nine and close the sale. Do we have a deal? I'm sort of feeling it. Yeah. Nice. That is awesome. Next. Such a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Saffron. The upright fist is kind of threatening, right? I'm fascinated by how quickly the town is growing. At this rate, it might encroach upon my forest home soon. You live in a forest? I do. I'm a carpenter by trade, mostly self-sufficient. But brewing potions is a special skill and one that I lack. Would you care to sell me this? All right. So set them up, reel them in, and brace. She's going to hit us for two. She's a chill craftsman. Minimally interested. Raise interest by four. If opener, apply set them up. Boom. Now we'll reel them in. Very interested. Then we brace. And end turn. Thought we were in this together. Serenity, don't fail me now. Serenity now. Serenity now. She's very interested. I'm at plus 8%. So can I set them up, reel them in, and then close it? What does this do? Stalwart. Prevents the next debuff from taking effect on the customer. She's still got seven patients left. So let's do set them up. Reel them in. And close it out. Super interested. 13% bonus. Clever thing, you know what you're doing, don't you? Come back soon. Next. Greetings, Tuck Slitch One. Tusk Lackey. I'm Muktuk. Like you, I'm an artisan, newly arrived on these shores. I'm eager to test your wares for potion making. Uh, noble profession indeed. Can't help but notice you appear to be brewing your potions in a shabby bucket of some kind. 
My cauldron's seen better days, but the chewing gum seems to be holding it together so far. You must visit my stall in the marketplace to discuss an upgrade, but for now, commerce! It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> it's making me uncomfortable. Uh, oh, I didn't... He's got two shield? And he's going to reduce my patience. Customer's going to lose extra patience. Oh, boy. Okay. But I didn't draw... Set him up. Interesting. Okay. Let's try this. That ate up his shield. So if I end my turn, how many cards do I have in my deck? Oh, okay. Think Sylvia think, and that draws an extra card. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's end turn. That'll take him down to six. Then he'll go down to five. If I don't get close it out, I'll be in trouble. You know what? Let's just close it out. We'll get a 10% bonus. It's fine. The perfect transaction. All other transactions are weak and inferior. Take care. That's all of them for now. What do you think, Al? Not too shabby, right? For a first effort, it went well, but I have notes. Of course you do. You'll find there are times when your usual tricks aren't working. When you don't like any of your options. When that happens, don't be afraid to take a, de a breath, dig deep, and take a mental mulligan. Uh, discard entire hand. Draw a new card for each card discarded. Nice. Not bad advice, actually. Yeah, the art is stunning. Uh, and so far, the gameplay is pretty great. I think I could get the hang of all this. Hey, what's the big idea? You can't set up shop here. Sure I can. I live here. Are you invoking squatter's rights? Because I've got dibs. I've been kicking back in this trash heap for a few weeks now. You didn't clean up that weird looking mildew in the corner, did you? I was saving that for later. I think there's been some mistake. My name's Sylvia. I just inherited this place. Huh. Just when you're sure you know a condemned building when you see it. Well, maybe your arrival isn't all bad news. You're obviously some kind of potions witch. As it happens, I've got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of magical ingredients. You know, like the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions. You should uh, kick some business my way. Sure. Definitely going to need ingredients before long. And now when it's time to buy, you'll think of me, Quinn. I call that move planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. Ooh. Apply plant the seed. Customer debuff raises interest by eight at the start of the customer's turn. Uh, okay. Solsis, how's it going? Super sketch, right? You know, I think I will use that. But where can I find your shop? It's hard to miss. Just go outside and look up. Uh, looking forward to doing business. Once I'm up and running, I'll need ingredients pretty regularly. Guess I'll see you around then. Unless that weird mildew gets you first. Good job on your first set of haggles. Your potions aren't quite ready. Why don't you travel and visit some of the new vendors you met? Ooh. Had a meeting and no one on your team except you, the lowest person on the total policing <laughs> form. I'm sorry, Fawn. Okay, so we can go travel. Quinn's Ingredients Boutique. Saffron's Carpentry. We haven't met those people. Muktuk's Forge. Let's go there. I call it Timmy. <laughs> so I think I can clock out now. Yeah. Ah, Sylvia, you brighten my day. Uh, we can gift him something? Give gifts of ingredients to fellow vendors in order to show your appreciation. Different people like different ingredients, so try to find out what they might prefer. 
Okay. You have no ingredients. Get some from Quinn's shop. Ah, okay. So let's go to Quinn's shop. With your departure, the fire dims. Uh, don't look down. Shop. Watch your fingers. <laughs> She's sitting on a mimic. Okay, mandrake root. We just used that for uh, sack of slime. We also used. What is this? Fairy flower bulb. It's a flower. A good trait that increases value by five percent. It's a. It does a. Is that that C? A root fly larva. So that's four, and those offer six. So those, so I can't combine that and that because it'll be unbalanced, right? Uh, unicorn horn, ethically sourced by the pure of heart. Sure. A pixie dust diamond is a gem. That's four B and four C. A river calamari, eight A. What is that? A bad trait that decreases value. Interesting. What is this? Bad trait that decreases value. Huh. Okay. How much? I have 165. I'm going to need stuff for potions, right? Uh, I know with these I can make mana potions. These two, I should be able to make something. They're expensive, though. And that's eight. Hmm. Let's buy one of those. And one of those. You lick it, you buy it. <clears throat> I'll call him Mr. Tus Tusky Man Boobs. Uh, let's buy two of these. And two of these. Okay. Uh, I think that's all for now. 4B and 4C. Oh, wait. Could I do... Let me buy one of these. And then I'll buy the rest of these. Because I think I can balance... Those with that. I can add in Pixie Dust Diamond to two of those and might make something. All right. What if it licks us? That's fair. That's always a danger. Uh, let's go back to the shop. Oh, how do I go back to my shop? Map. Go to carpentry? Maybe I have to go to the different places first. Puts the money in savings. <laughs> the trees told me to expect you. Uh, fuel? Oh, okay. Increase space in your shop to have more cauldrons and more shelves. Uh, mm, I'm going to hang on to that for now. Do, 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 do. How do I go back to my shop? I don't see my shop on the travel menu. Right? Am I supposed to just pass time? Does each time I go somewhere pass time? No, it doesn't look like it. Does anyone who's played this, how do you get back to your shop? Am I missing it? Return? Hello? I want to go home. 
I would like to leave. Yeah, binary. It's the 4.0 update. Uh, it also it releases on Switch today. <clears throat> I did see there was my Dinkum was queued to update mags. I knew there was one com I know there was a there was an update in beta in the beta branch that added some folks. Uh, but the No Man's Sky update is it's a solid one. It's going to allow you to customize difficulty. Um, like you can play casual survival, but also permadeath. Um, if you want to like a lot more customization with your experience, um, and make survival a little more important. I did visit, I visited everyone that I could. Do I need to give a gift first? Let's try giving a gift here. Do you want that? It's technically a gift, I suppose. That didn't go well. Rank up. I'm making slow but steady progress on a jigsaw puzzle. Would you care to pitch in? Saffron has laid out the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle on top of a tree stump. She already has the border of the puzzle completed. Based on the frame alone, Sylvia can't tell what image the puzzle will make. Is it just me or does every piece look the same? Well, it's an image of foliage, so the entire puzzle is green. But green contains multitudes. Look closer and you'll see fern, fern green, sage, juniper, moss. Success will require us to be mindful of the subtle variations. Sylvia thinks she spots a match. Takes up a piece. She'd describe it as booger green. It doesn't fit. Or maybe it does. Almost. She pushes harder. Maybe it's a slight manufacturing flaw. Jube, how's it going? Fortnite spinoff, yes. She slams her piece repeatedly with her gloved fist. Ha! Got it. Yes. It's quite a, quite a technique you have. Maybe I should get you a hammer. I don't want to make too much noise. It's so quiet out here. It must get lonely sometimes. I wouldn't say that. In fact, I very much enjoy the peace and quiet. And I keep busy. For instance, most of the morning putting a bridge together. You made a whole bridge this morning? Well, sure. Lately, the Heroes Guild is sending all sorts of greenhorns out into the forest. See, like, low-key secretly... I would love to get a tattoo of this arm that looks like her arm. Where it's it just looks like wood grain with like moss and vines breaking out and wrapping around. That would be really cool. Have a good lunch, Zelda. Nice, Jube. I don't mean it as a jab when I say that I enjoy the quiet. I like solitude, but I like your company too. Uh, the feeling's mutual. That's right. Are there, like... Doesn't the hustle and bustle of town ever wear you down? Uh, a little bit. No clue since you've had it since you were a teen. <laughs> but I've got ways to unwind when it gets to be too much. I'm glad that coming out to my corner of the woods seems to be one of them. So there's, like, you have to build relationships in this as well. It's worth keeping in mind as a merchant that your customers are navigating the same turbulent currents that you are. With a soothing voice, a calm demeanor, you can make your shop an island of tranquility in the raging sea of life. Help guide their thoughts through the storm, and I'll bet you see results. Guided thought. Raise interest by five, decrease stress by one. Oh, so that's how we get new cards. I believe you could be anything you set your mind to. Now, have you seen a pine green piece with three Audis and a socket? It's got to be here somewhere. Interesting. So I did have to give a gift to get back. Okay. Prepare potions for sale. A brew. <clears throat> the mana potions are done cooking. I'll bottle them up. The ratio of magnums is perfectly balanced, and these should be high-quality potions. Let's see. Bottle. 
Ooh, common mana potion. 45 gold each. A perfect brew. Those are very good potions. Considering our limitations, a cauldron that holds more ingredients would allow you to make potions of a higher tier. But that's tomorrow's problem. Today, we should sell what we have at the best price we can get. This reminds you of Shop Titans. I don't think I've played that one, Chaz. Range potions. One, a two, a three. When haggling, remember to use the new tips you've picked up. Applied what you learn will be critical to coming out ahead. It's a mobile shopkeeping sim. Ah, okay. Yeah, Fawn, we did uh, we did the demo of Wild Frost on Tuesday. It was very good. Um, very good. We did not encounter a naked gnome, unfortunately. As much as I tried, there was no naked gnome. Yet. Uh, but it had a really cool... The initiative mechanic in Wild Frost was really interesting. The way that worked. A butter shortage... Two packs of butter were $7. What? As much as I tried, there was no naked gnome. What do you want from me? I, I speak truth. You got to see the naked gnome on the other side, but not for you. Mint. Oh, wow. Is this an actual potion shop? I could have sworn it was all boarded up just the other day, and now... Potions. My name's Sylvia. Resident Potions Witch, and by resident, I mean I literally live here. I mint a hero in training. I'm going off on an adventure, and I need your strongest potion. Uh. Press the attack. What's she at? She's at 11. Okay, she's gonna hit me for two. Let's raise interest by five and draw a card. We could raise interest by five and draw a card. Think, Sylvia, think. Uh, brace yourself. Close it out. I don't want to close it out. I don't know that I want to. We're at plus 20%, though. Let's see what we get. Reel them in. She's at 6. We're at 30% bonus, so let's close it out. 61 gold. Not bad. It's pretty obvious. A uh, naked gnome. It was fun, but a lot to keep track of. Yeah, I lost track when I was playing it on Tuesday, Fawn. I missed one of the initiative markers on a card that ended up killing my hero uh, a couple times. It's it's really interesting. It kind of reminds me of a... It very much reminded me of Across the Obelisk. Um, just with like slightly less mechanics than Across the Obelisk. But also, it was... Just a demo, so it might have had more. Greetings and salutations. It is I, Baptiste. As guildmaster for the local chapter of the Heroes Guild, it is my duty and my privilege to welcome you to Rafta. Thanks for saving me a trip. I figured I'd drop in on the guild soon. Where I come from, heroes really like their potions. It is doubly true here on the edge of civilization. My heroes rely on potions to survive the monster-infested wilderness outside our town's borders. What are you asking for, this lovely little dollop? Uh, let's set him up. Set him up. We set the hook. He's gonna hit me for three? Yikes. Uh, reel him in. End turn. I can't mulligan. That's fine. Oh, I can close the deal without playing the close the deal card. Okay. Ow. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Let's press the attack. He's going to lose one patience on his turn, so we'll probably close out. Uh... I can raise interest by another seven and then nine to close the sale. Let's draw a card. Guided thought. 
reel them in and close it out. Bam! 50% bonus. Let's go. Is it a naked gnome skull? <laughs> right. Thanks for the boost. Next. Oh, hi. 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 <laughs> hi, Sylvia, right? Welcome to our up-and-coming little town. I'm Luna, founder and sole proprietor of Laughter's Raftus' newest, best, and boldest marketing agency. I don't know much about marketing, but I thought I'd just leave myself a bunch of fake reviews. We could do better than that. Let me know if you need anything to get your message out there, and I can show you how to cut through the noise of a crowded marketplace. I'm not just here to give you my pitch. This potion caught my eye. Uh, okay. Set him up. Oh, she had armor. She had four armor. And she's going to hit me for three. She is dangerous. Uh, let's end turn. Are those glasses or googly eyes? Yes. I'm in marketing and I'm not like this. Maybe that's where you've gone wrong. Uh, set him up. Think. Oh, she's only got three patients left. Ooh. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. Uh. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to get any bonus on this. You know what? I'm just going to close this deal. This is such a strange game, right? It's pretty wonderful, actually. <laughs> Done. Thank you. It's a bargain. It's a deal. Thanks. Thanks for your business. That's all of them for now. You'd be more successful if you dressed like an anime character? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. The glamorous life of a potions witch. Not quite as I pictured it. Well, what do we have here? Hi, I'm Sylvia. What can I do for you? Oh, did you mistake me for a customer? That's adorable. I'm not a customer. My name is Roxanne, and I'm your competition. What? Oh, don't look so alarmed. I'm not here to sabotage you. If I were, well, it appears someone else beat me to it. Or is your shop supposed to look like this? I know the place could use some work, but don't count me out just yet. I'm new to all this, but I'm already getting the hang of it. Oh, you think so? Well, think again. Raft is a strange island teeming with magic and mystery. There's a hearty demand for potions here. But the market is volatile and demand can change as quick as the weather. Just when you think you've got your footing, the place will throw a curve your way. Now, personally, I know a thing or two about curves, but you? Don't worry about me, Roxanne. I can handle a bit of toil and trouble. So why don't you leave me to my business and go mind your own? If you insist, but I warned you, as of today, I'm putting, putting you out of business is my business. And business is looking very good. Can you leave her? The nerve! Are you really surprised? It's nice that you met some friendly vendors earlier today, but don't let that fool you. Business is all about competition. You won't make it very far if you're afraid of ruffling feathers. Who said I was afraid? I'm not backing down. Not for Roxanne, not for any other opponents waiting in the wings. I don't expect to be the only potion shop in town. Mark my words, Owl. I'm going to be the best one. When you put it like that, my girl, I find it easy to believe you. In that case, what are we waiting for? Come on, Owl. Let's get to work. Thank you for checking out the demo. Uh, that was really good. I like that one a lot. Uh, so that's Potionomics. Po- Shinomics. Uh, that one's been on my wish list for a while. <clears throat> the owl will be the final boss calling it now. Yeah, it comes out October 17th, which is a week from Monday, right? Yeah, week from Monday. That was really good. Uh, I liked that one a lot. Okay, let's check out uh, 17th is on a Monday. Yeah, it's a week from Monday, right? The 10th, Monday is the 10th. 
Uh, oh, let's check out Pile Up. Yeah, Chemical, I backed it. Uh, I backed Coral Island. So that's what? This weekend? Next? Next week? The backer keys should go out very soon. Uh, so, yeah. Once once the backer keys are out, I'm definitely going to jump into that. The 11th, yeah, thank you. So that's Tuesday, Tuesday. You backed it too, Doonesy? Yeah. I, how could you not? It looked incredible. And, like, the progress that they've shown looks great. So, uh, very excited for that. Okay, so we're going to check out Pile Up, which is, let me drop the link in chat. Pile Up is a strategic building game which you need to build houses, fulfill people's requests, and manage your risky buildings in different ways on a small island. Don't let your guard down in this chill environment. We only get you relaxed to destroy everything that you've done. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Just got off a call where someone was mad. Ooh, that's no fun. Okay. Welcome to Pile Up. A capture? There we go. Uh, maybe down here. Do you want to learn about the island? Yes. In Pile Up, your goal is to increase the population of the island as much as possible. As your island population increases, it levels up. To increase the population, you need to build houses. You can select the buildings below by using left click. Okay. Bravo! Left click to place the building. Can I rotate? Oops, nope. Right click. Let's place the building in the back corner. Can you hang it off the island? Apparently you can. You can also deselect the selected building with right click. Okay. <clears throat> We're considering changing vendors if you can't get this resolved quickly. Oh. Ooh. Sunday's your birthday, Jenna. Oh, happy early birthday. You can now place these buildings as you wish using left click. Okay. Gardenless house, a home office, a big house, a portable house, a big house. Do you, like... Oh, oh, you can zoom in. Can I move right now? A gardenless house. Can I put it, I can, like, stack these on top? Oh, what is that? Wait. What is this? A home office. Uh, is this going to be like 3D Tetris? A portable house. Sure. And a gardenless house. Look at this. Your island is growing and new citizens are arriving. Are they, though? If you have no cards left, you can proceed to the next round by using the space key or the button at the bottom right. A modern islanders with extras. Yeah, that's that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting FLC. This situation is a little more complex. I think you need a better angle. R key rotates buildings. Okay. What are these markers? To find a suitable area to place the buildings that you have. Why won't you... I can't place you anywhere else? What about the gardenless house? The gardenless house, I have more options. Is 
Do I have more options? Is it? Oh. Wait. Can I put you here? Rotate. Yes. Boom. What does that mean? Why is there a fire? Wow, pretty good. Now it's time for a critical topic. You've been wondering what these colorful bubbles on your buildings all are, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are the needs of the people. In order to keep your island alive, you need to keep your people happy. Okay. I'll give you so I'll give you a building to provide some of these needs. Use it carefully. A gas tank. See the glowing circle in the bottom left of the card? That's the downside of the building. It's explosive. This building can explode when in contact with shooter or igniter buildings. <laughs> oh, control does top down. Okay. Try to place your resource in the best spot. I can't place it anywhere. It has to be. Oh, I can put it there. Happy. You've saved people from freezing. Oh. Okay. Uh, happiness is 43%. Now you're ready to build your own island. This is going to be... I wish you explosion-free days. Don't... Don't tell me that. Don't... Don't tell me. <laughs> island is called Stack Islands. Okay. Don't, don't tell me I can blow up. That's not what I need to know. <laughs> they wish you explosion filled days. Small house. Don't ask why there are three people inside. Portable house. People are small, so we piled 12 of them inside. Gardenless house. Just the house, no garden included. Home office. start with that you can really hang these things off the side uh, don't want your day to go off with a bang yeah if you burn down the island does that count as getting set on fire okay small house that's a very small house A gardenless house. Let's put you there. Oh, you require heat, huh? And water, I guess. And power. Let's put you on top. That'll be fine, right? What does the green one mean? What does it mean? Stack. I hit... Oh. 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 House factory will generate a house until it drains out. Will generate source buildings until it drains out. A support. You can't break physics rules if you wrote them. I don't know what that's doing. Let's put a house factory up here. What's the support do? Oh! Oh, 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 hold up.
Oh! Let's stack up our small houses over here. Okay. Clem, how's it going? Something re resembling a Mega Block City from Mega City 1, right? Uh, people are very angry. Electrical generator. Okay. Put that there and give people some power. That makes people slightly happier. What is this? Another small house. Very small house. They have no heat, though. A little more happiness. What is this? Thir <laughs> 39 people are sedated. 174 are agitated. No death, though. Uh, sure. Power to the people. Risky move, right? Okay, we got a gas tank. I can put that here. Should I really put that? Do I really want to put that next to the electrical generator? Nope! 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 nope. Uh... <laughs> The answer is no, you do not want to put the, the gas tank next to the electrical generator. It's fine. This is how we learn. Okay? This is, this is how we learn. A park. Let's put a park right here. Yay! One person's happy with our park. Can I put a portable house on top of the park? <laughs> Let's put you over here. Sure. <clears throat> um, listen. It's fine. What is this? A water tank. Be careful it leaks. So we'll put it on top of the building, right? Does it really? Why am I not getting any happiness? Happiness zero. Why? Because 99 people died when the gas tank blew up? That seems a little... Aggressive. Look. Now someone's happy. It's fine. It's fine. LeFay. It's totally fine. Look, our factories are still cranking out some buildings. We got another water tank. <clears throat> we probably don't want the water tank on top of electrical stuff. Right? So let's put this water tank over here. See? Totally fine. Did it... Why did it break the building? Puppy Chiao, how's it going? Maybe a burn ward? It's a memorial park. Why did the water tank destroy the building? Hey, look, another gas tank. Let's put you over here this time. Okay. See, now people are happy. Er, ish. Happy ish? It'll be fine. It's full of heavy water? Well, if it was. Full of heavy water, that would be a completely different experience. Pain. Heavy water is slightly different than than water. <clears throat> there are there are some slight implications if it was a tank full of heavy water. I hate what the other tank disappeared as well. Hate is a strong word, pain. Slightly 
ever so slightly more radioactive. We're not getting a lot a lot of buildings. Our factories are not really churning stuff out here. Is it cuz well, I'm in a social crisis? <laughs> that's that's a little mean. That's a that's a strong statement. 10 days and we hit a social crisis. Your people got angry with you and started a riot. Let's let's try that one more time. <laughs> let's try it one more time. Hopefully without explosions. Right? No. It's don't squint at me. It's fine. We'll be fine. What we just need to do is be not awful at this. So let's put the gardenless houses over here. Because then when we get a garden, we can put the garden near the gardenless houses. Then we'll do a home office over. Let's turn around. Home office over here next to the other home office next to the other home office. See that? Look, look. Now we'll be able to we'll be able to heat them nice and nice and evenly. Boom. Stack. Okay. Uh now we're going to get a house factory and a source factory. We need to get the source factory up and running. So I'm going to put that over here next to the house factory. Uh, supports. I'm going to put a support. I can't put it there. Let's put a support there. And small house. There we go. See? Small house. Look at it. Looks good. Now we just need some parks. <clears throat> Does being not awful include putting pitchforks down? I mean, ideally, it would be nice. If you'd refrain from pitchforks. You know, in an ideal world. We're almost happy enough. We're almost above critical happiness. Isn't that great? We have heat. We have no water or electricity. Have I even seen an electricity generator? Oh, never mind. Electric generator. Let's not put it by the heat. Let's put you over here. If I put it up here, it doesn't get everybody. I can put it down here. That's a little close to explodey stuff. But I think it'll be fine. We'll put it here. Super happy. Look at this. 80% happiness. See, we learn things. That's what we do. We learn. Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. And then we'll go right on top. Boom! Yeah. Now we need just we need some park space. Shh. This is how you dominate a game. A park. Boom. Now I need a million dollars. Game? No? Yes? Look at how happy people are. Look at this happiness. 85% happiness. Let's cover up the gas generator. See? Totally fine. Perfection. So far. What do you mean so far? I'm so good at this. Okay, we don't want the water tank near... The gas. It's That should be far enough from the electric, right? Okay. People are happy there. 
Another home office. Let's cover up the electrical generator with a home office. 93%. Get on my level. Let's see. Another park. Uh, should we put this park by the other park? Let's put it up on top of here. Sure. That seems fine. Everybody loves a good park. Put you there. And you there. Look at this layout. Now I just need... I need another water tank. Is what I need. How long until absolute chaos? How dare you? It's sunny out. Another gas tank. Uh, a home office. Let's put the home office there. Good. Good. Gas tank. Put the gas... Uh, let's put the gas tank here. That should be far enough away from everything else, right? Sort of like the container neighborhood from Ready <laughs> Listen, okay, come on, come on. I'm doing better than that. A small house. Boom. Nothing but happiness. What happens if I get to like 100% happiness? A portable house. Put you under there. Super happy about that too. My tanks just... They're not getting any heat over here. That's unfortunate. What are we at? We're at 92. What is that? An apartment complex. Be careful, the walls are thin. Don't like the sound of that. Let's put you up here. You have no electric. What are you talking Oh, are you too high? That's problematic. A water tank. Be careful it leaks. It should be fine if I put it here, right? Don't break. No! Oh. Okay. Can't. How do you put water tanks down then? Ridiculous. Not learning about how... Where else do you put it? That's my question. Or uh, sh maybe I should have put it on the platform. There and there. Yeah. Boom. I would like a little variety in the music. Select a card. A dump. A toy store. You get two house factories and one casino internet satellite let's do a toy store okay another source factory put you there another house factory let's put you on top of the source factory another support let's put you there there and there why can't I place you there I can put you there and the toy store we'll put the toy store over here that gives me casino <laughs> perfect 
perfection. Uh, and another house factory. Put you right there. Okay. The casino door. <laughs> the casinos just watch the first step. Water is heavy. Things I'm lost on. What about the factories? Yeah, don't worry about the factories. The factories are totally fine, apparently. Can I put that on top of the casino? That was a uncomfortably... Uh, gardenless house. There and there. What do you mean no power? There's power right above you. Okay. And water. Water is an issue again. Okay, water tank. Let's put it on here. Okay, it worked on the platform, so that's good. Power, put right here. Good. We're good. We're good. Psh. Super, super duper good at this. Apartment complex. Boom. Home office. Boom. Stackville, we leveled up. This is a demo, ads. A fridge that's been open for too long, right? Uh, another casino? It may blast your game or it may bless your day. Be careful. Let's do another toy store. Sure. We'll put, we'll just keep stacking toy stores over here. Totally fine. Uh, another house factory. Should I just keep stacking the factories one on top of the other? <laughs> Seems fine, right? Uh, support. Uh, let's put the support there. Casino, right there. Portable house. Right there. Yes. Look at my happiness. 94% happiness. Come on. Totally fine. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, another park. Can I slide the park in here? I don't want to put it up there. Can I put it on top of the casino? Yeah, casino top park. Let's go. Uh, water. We should be able to put on this platform. Yes. Okay. Uh, portable house, portable house, gardenless house. Put you there and there. Why do you need power and why do you need things? It's rude. Why you even need things? It's just dumb. Look at this. We need heat. Oh boy. Oh boy. Went from tug placing things carefully and meticulously to just yeeting things whenever. It's fine. Look, we got another gas tank. I can probably place this safely. Did I get a platform? No, I got another park. Hooray, it's a park. Let's put that there. Uh, the gas tank, I should be able to safely put right here. Yeah. Yeah, a big house. Boom, the big house is across the street from the casino. Home office. Boom. Another home office. Boom. Another home office. Boom. 
gardenless house. Boom and boom. How do you need water? You don't need water. It's fine. Is this art? It is absolutely art. Uh, we have another power building. Let's put you right there. See? Perfect. We're going to need power over here, too, so let's do that. Oh, there's one right there. Just... Oh, no! Don't put two power generators next to each other. Uh, two power generators next to each other is bad news. Mucho bad news -o. They need heat. Uh, can I get you some heat? You got heat. You got no power. You somehow have water. Are there any platforms anywhere? How do you have water? No, why did you break the... <sighs> it's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. We're fine. Can you move the camera? Oh, you can't see grumpy people. Sorry. Now you can see grumpy people. Uh, power station. Here. Every time I put something down, I feel like it's going to explode. Things fall apart. The tugboats. Okay, listen. Look at that. This is... This is art. I need another power station. Uh, I didn't, I don't need more heat. Let's put more heat down, I guess. An apartment complex. Can I put this somewhere over? Here. <laughs> oh, it's on top. <laughs> Uh, sure. We'll put you there. And there. Perfection. This is quite a structure. <laughs> oh no, I'm out of source buildings. Alright, we're gonna hit riot stage pretty quickly here. Uh, let's put you on top of the toy store. Totally fine. I feel like I'm building Whoville. It's Jenga with people's lives. Aww. I hit social crisis. Look at my my factory stack. Looks very nice, though. All right, that's that's a pretty fun game. I like that one. That's pretty interesting. It is. It's like Islanders, only just where everything goes horribly wrong. Why am I on fire again? Okay, listen, listen, listen. You're not wrong. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh that's where that's where we're going to wrap up for today. Uh I'm I'm still recovering from being sick. 
uh, for most of the week. So I'm not going to push myself today. Uh, I'll be back on Monday morning. We're going to jump back into Guild Wars 2. I've been having an absolute blast with that. I might start an alt over the weekend. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed Core Keeper. Congratulations again to the folks that won the extra keys. Thank you again to Dead Good Media for, for sending me a couple extra keys. That was super kind of you. Uh, I will... Uh, let the mods know how to get access to the core keeper server. So if you want to play core keeper with the community, I will have that information available to the mods and myself will give you the, uh, the game code so that you can hop into the server and join that. Uh, other than that, that's all I got. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for bearing with me this week while I wasn't feeling well. And thank you again to FG for the raid. Thank you for all the bits. Thank you for all the subs. And uh, the follows, welcome into the new folks. So that's all I got. Make sure you hang out. We are going to raid somebody. Uh, take everybody that's in our chat, dump them into somebody else's chat, and let them know they're appreciated. It's Friday. So we're going to go say hi to Red Weird. Uh, Red's a fantastic streamer and a good friend. We're going to go say hi to Red on Fridays. Red plays Final Fantasy games and drinks beers. And it's a good time. So I hope you can come along with that. Spam some emotes and say hi to Red. I would really appreciate it. Uh, that's all I got. Enjoy the rest of your Friday, everybody. I'll see you over in Red Stream. And otherwise, I'll see you on Monday morning for more Guild Wars 2. Until then, have a fantastic weekend. And as always, as ever, remember, be good to each other. Bye, everybody.